Welcome to World of Tanks. I'm Mary Banks, and I'm about to show you a uh, a replay of a battle I had last night. I was playing with Zoe Balls and Ram Turf. Um, Zoe does countdowns in her streams, and this battle is for the NA session. Now, on my NA account, I don't have tier 9 and 10 tanks yet. And what was chosen and selected for this battle was originally tier 9. But I thought instead then to get my t get a uh, tier 8 preferential matchmaking heavy tank, the Alpine Tiger. Um, and that got me to a uh, battle on Abbey and my reason for showing this battle is that there was smaller aspects of uh, teamwork and that being even down to the way the allied VK and I are pushing each other on the uh, the road in the 1-2 line um, I'll explain more about it as we go. During my time in gameplay, um, I have grown a mindset coming from the statement that you don't go alone. And that's easy enough said. But how? Can you be sure to have your allies with you when you go? So I have concluded that when I see allies go and they're alone, I tend up to follow them. Because I won't let allies go alone. Um, because see here, it ends up in a tier 9 match um, on Abbey. And it ends up being a pretty good battle, though if you look at the uh, the results of it, it's not exactly very spectacular. But my setting doesn't allow me to show you here in the video, so I'll put a link to it in the description, and you can see how it results it. Battle has started. And the meta I have learned for this battle is um, that the heavy tanks typically go to the road in the 1-2 line. Now, I see the VK go, go in that direction. And like I said, I don't let allies go alone, so I follow him. With us is also a platoon of two Oni tanks, tier 7 Japanese heavies. Um, I'm a little faster than the uh, the VK. So, what matters for me most is to get down that road to nevertheless see what is there. T10 turns up, and um, it's not like I am giving up the fights with a T10. There you have the passage. Um, but I have experienced many times that when you are being three, four, five heavy tanks in a very narrow position. Um, it ends up mostly being me taking the damage and get to deal nothing. So I reposition. Well knowing that this plateau I uh, get to is um, pretty 
expose the position to artillery fire. Behind those two, uh, the Object 705 and the T-10, is a Tiger 1 tank, a German 07 Heavy. Experience strikes again, and I have tried many times, <coughs> tried many times, trying to flank opponents, ended up being flanked myself. So I deal with the Tiger. I did uh, see the Leo head this way, uh, slightly, on the minimap, but I didn't expect him to reach that fast. Didn't expect him to reach that fast. I was wondering, why on earth am I going? Aren't I going? And um, it turned out that we're tracks. <laughs> Here comes the Leo. Now he dances with me, occupying me. For long enough for this IS-6 coming up the hill behind, as you see on the minimap, and get into position to sh shoot me from behind with his premium rounds. I screw the IS-6, and uh, that turns out that the idea is pretty bad <laughs> because he does deal decent amount of damage even with his premium rounds. But I get to deal with the uh, the T-10. Take it around the end from the 705 and then get destroyed by the IS-6. Um, when you did see the uh, the bumping, or the, the way we passaged, um, there was no bumping into each other between the VK and me. And I would say that the EU players could learn a lot of that. Um, as far as summary goes, we did see the T10 being marked. And there was also, like you see now, those small arrows pointing down on the position where the 705 is. Now, I have experienced as my own time of playing artillery that when a target is marked, they are rarely lit long enough, and it is pretty hard for artillery to shoot at targets they can't see. So the experience have made me to stay close near the targets, uh, to keep him lit, and maybe even tracked, maybe even tracked, um, and pinned in place for the artillery to shoot him. And that you still can do as a low tier tank, bottom tier. You can still manage to keep the targets lit and maybe tracked for the artillery uh, and pinned in place for the artillery to get it if it is in a position where the artillery can hit him. Because I have done what I have done and the team is working so well together, this only platoon ends up actually winning the road. The other side has been won by those tanks going down there, and the even 90 has managed to uh, get to the cap. battle was won. So the enemy team was working pretty well together, as both the, uh, the Tiger, the Leo, and the IS-6 was shooting into me and getting my hit points off. Um, so it was really good strategy from their part. The only reason why we won was because of the even 90 to win by capping. As said, I will leave a link to the uh, 
the replay on Souls Jedi's website in the video description. Thanks for watching.